We have San Francisco, finally. <clears throat> so we should be probably getting relatively close to the end of the game now. But who knows, maybe we're nowhere near. Oh god, there's nothing to do that, bollocks. Oopsie doopsie. Let's uh, make sure we're well equipped for the journey. I can see his landfall. That should be a cool looking settlement. Fire Fang Horn. Oh. Let's go around these guys to avoid a conflict, shall we? Oh, medicinal. Pee poo poo pee 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 poo 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 pee. Kind of want to scale some of these buildings actually. Oh, oh, it's just the uh, go to the mainland. Oh. I can override these now, can't I? No. What? I could have sworn I unlocked this. No, I guess not. Okay, well then let's just even know. Oh, there's the bridge over there. This place is so pretty. Other than the Golden Gate Bridge, I pretty much know nothing about San Francisco, so I'm definitely not going to be like, oh god, look at that particular building. And the same with all true for Las Vegas, so. No. Oh. So. Let's stay moving then, shall we? Ooh, what's who here? Shelter. That's worth it up, I'm guessing. Is San Francisco actually on an island like that? Like it is in this game. I didn't, because I honestly did not know that, if, if that's the case. Weapon upgrades. Oh, this is like the electric bow though, so I probably don't need to upgrade that one to be honest. Yeah, I have no upgrades for the actual. No, I don't want to sit down. That's the part, they have three things to rest triangle for, right beside each other. Oh. Quick save. <laughs> they have the stash, sit down to progress time, and quick save. So, yeah, that's not, that's not a great idea.
<clears throat> let's go to the beach over here. Can I squeeze through here? I can. Oh god, hold it on. I'm still going towards the beach, am I? Oh no, it's over here. Whoa. That is so epic. Where's the snap on site? Right here. That might come in handy. What about a crab? Oh yeah, they're in there. Oh god, who sees me? Oh, there's one right here. Snap my overrides corrupted, but I can fix it if I hunt for more parts. Oh god. What made that noise? Oh good, it's another one. Maybe I'll go up here. This island is so pretty. What made that sound? What? Who sees me? Is it that thing? Yeah. Oh, there's a proper storm bird as well. Oh. <laughs> yes, look, it's a storm bird site, so you know. They would be expected to be found out here. Time to go. Oh my god. Whoa! How far did I just fall? I'm trying to think that I don't want to be here. Oh, the breach is right here. Oh my god. Right, I'm just going to make a run for it. Okay, I am going to just go straight for the mission now. Hello. Okay, let's go. 
This would be my new friend, Jeremy. God, this place is so cool. Oh. And this looks like they should be just over here. Oh, that oh okay, that that's one drone I'd like to get, because this would be a cool base just uh Okay, I guess we've got one to get up here. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a light. Okay. Huh. It's a very intact looking door for I assume that was built, um, you know, recently enough after the apocalypse. How do I get up there? Unknown 70 meters. I mean, it's probably the drone that's one way towards, right? Maybe I have to get up from out here. Stones. They could reconnect yeah. it with the dome back in the base if I grab its data. Oh, retrieved the drone. Oh yeah. How do I get up there though? Let's go for a swim. Oh yeah, look, it's over here or somewhere to go. I can probably get up there from this side then. It must be the entrance to Lamb Fall Path. The living ancestor. The diviner wasn't lying. She looks peaceful hey, dude. enough. Oh no, I wanted this to go. Is landfall, right? I'm looking for Alba. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please, come with me. Go, let him know we're coming. Oh wait, I want to go get the drone first if that's alright. Oh no, it teleported me. Arr! It's her. The I've been tricked. Overseer Bohai, a stranger just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat. Lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... Who is? May I present our honored CO? So, here she is. Our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CO. How can she appear as Sobek and yet know nothing of our ways? 
Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land? An ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. <clears throat> I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes, the final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. Yay. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they are holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. So you found Thebes. How? The ancestors revealed it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year ago. Through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details uh. about the construction of a great underground palace. Where, exactly? Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures. Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. <laughs> that has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggested. What exactly are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here. Especially one as important as Thebes. We will not oh. sail back until I have plundered its secrets. So, Alva reports to you. I was chosen by my colleagues on the Board of Overseers to supervise data retrieval on this expedition, yes. And you're in charge of the expedition? He is far more than that. You are addressing the cousin of the Emperor of the Quinn. Heir to the vast holdings of the Great Delta, the first CO in five generations. All she needs to understand is that I am the authority here. And my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. We're in luck. You crossed the ocean on these ships? Couldn't have been easy. Greatness is never easy. Indeed. It took seven years just to build the flotilla. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the seal. The voyage was difficult. The wilds here even more so. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. I know that. But all... For the glory of the Quen. Good to know.
What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A Thunderjaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? <sighs> Doesn't matter. It won't be easy, but I can take it down. How does she know that? Well, what's that the destiny say? shines upon us, as I knew it would. A living ancestor now walks among us, and she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. Wind is bracing, I guess. Amogus. I didn't believe. But now I see. You truly are an ancestor reborn. A good omen if I ever saw one. I'm a scout for the expedition. Whatever I learn of this strange thing, I will share. As is my duty to the ancestors, I should tell you. My fellow scouts found ancient ruins west of here. They claimed to have seen a relic of the ancestors inside, but couldn't find a way to retrieve it. Perhaps a living ancestor could discover a way where others could not. Maybe if I find myself in the area. Outfits. A grave singer may soothe fallen comrades, but they bring enemies no solace. This flexible outfit is well suited for mobility and archery. Oh, these are pretty good. But none of them are grayish, you know? I'll tell this stuff over here. Level as the machine strike expert. Hell no. Ah. Okay, off to the big pyramid to fight the thunder jaw. I'm guessing this is the hunter then. You see, it is not far away at all. Oh, there's no hunter here, are you serious? Boy, what the hell, boy. Oh, well, looks like now I don't think Titan know what I do here. They're nerds. Is, is it called CEO? Or is that like a CEO? Is that like. Where the name comes from? That's uh, something. So now, how can I get up to this guy?
Well, there is loot on that building, meaning I can. Oh shit! Oh, I know you're Malfur. No, 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 no. Oh, and did I actually kind of get back up? I actually did. Uh, I think. Oh, I know. Maybe I didn't. No. Bollocks. Come on, let me get back up, please. Oh yes, can't believe I actually managed to do that. Okay, so I must really get up over here somewhere. To the... Yeah. Question is, where do I go now? Oh god. What are nearly up here? Oh no. Jump onto that drone to get it down. That is literally always the case, Aloy. How are you climbing that? Uh oh. Yeah, I was thinking I wouldn't make that jump. Thinking it's right here we get it. So I better do all the stuff that's around here first before I go jumping off. Have a nice little look around. That one just looks so cool. God, this game is beautiful. This will be a long drop. Oh, not that long actually. I'm gonna get the data from the drone. Oh yeah, so I literally was like right beside this a few, a few minutes ago. Shield wings holding up. Oh wait. I should have, like, opened the drawbridge from this side, shouldn't I?
There's the like drawbridge that's over here. That was close. Which surely that's how you're supposed to get in there. How No but like how are you actually supposed to get up there? Damn it, I should have done that. What? There you are. Oh my god. Okay, you're weak and acid. That is good to know. Just acid? Oh my god. That happened very quickly. Oh my god, he turned around so quickly. That's bullshit. How the hell did you hit me this far? I did that so fast. I had like how was I supposed to know that in advance? Okay, I need to use some of his weapons against them. Oh god. Be nice if all other lads helped. Like they're literally just standing there watching. Oh my god, I just want to pick up the fucking weapon. That was it. That all the ammo that I had in it.
Ouch. Ouch. God, after all that, I just oh, it's all so anticlimactic when you're dying. Though. There you are. I guess we're doing this. Okay. No, oh, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, you, oh, you're breaking my balls. Oh my God, how did I hit there? No, I did not mean to craft that. I think the game knew I did what it was. Ah, that. Why didn't the arrow fire? He just didn't shoot the fucking arrow. Not do anything to him. Okay, oh my God, no! Up. 
Oh god. Are you kidding me? I can't use the cannon? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. No! Oh, I should have seen that from them. Oh my god, I keep on just... That's three traps in a row with that, he's just... How did that not hit? Oh god. Oh, fuck off. Where's that blaze canister? That's the one I want to detonate. Take away the rest of them so I don't get confused. Come on then. Wait, didn't see me yet. Wait, I don't see the blaze canister anymore. Where is it? Oh god. Where's the brace canister?
Soldat. Oh dear. I don't know how they're just sitting there watching this. The boys in the castle. Whatever you want to call it. I'm actually starting to run out of ammo now. A little concerning. Oh! Oh! No! What?! What was I supposed to do there? Oh my god! Yo, fuck this game. What are you doing? There you are. I guess we're doing this. Um... What's your weakness acid? Oh god. Oh, that's so annoying. For such a big lad, he can barely move. Here we go. Okay. Got it. What? How did that not hit? Oh, damn. Damn it. Oh, I'm so bad.
Oh god. Oh god, no! Oh no, this is not where I want to be at all. Oh my god, no. No, get up, Aloy. Oh, you're kidding me, Choke. Okay. Oh god, this is ver Are you kidding me? If I die in this after all of that, I'm gonna be very upset. After all that time taking zero damage, you just have to keep them really far away from you. That's all. You, that's really what you have to do. It was, it was going so well before that. There you are. I guess we're doing this. Oh god. Oh, why won't she aim? There is a nice weak spot. Oh! Why does he keep doing that? His head just glitches out. And he just like jumps forward and or jumps off a bit. Probably isn't like this, but it kind of looks like one. Okay, so those chains going to its face are quite strong. I thought I had done more damage during this time, to be honest. Damn it. Fuck yeah. Uh, 
Oh, goddammit, that was... Oh god. Running out of ammo for this thing pretty quick. Ouch! Oh, that thing seems to do some a lot of damage. Oh no, don't, don't come over here. He's coming over here. Are you kidding me? I kind of thought that the, the boys in the fort would have me at some stage in the fight, but no. Ouch. Move! What are you doing? I can't, like, I don't have a clue what's going on right now. And these will be my last of the good arrows, so I'm... I was just about to say I'll make them count, but uh, you know what, for some reason... Never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I still have these ones, I guess. These might be useful for something. Uh, maybe not though. Seriously? Get inside here or something. Why is that thing to small amount of damage? Come on, just die, you're so close to death. Come on. One more, one more. Yes. Oh my god. That was actually kind of a fun boss battle, I'm not gonna lie. Usually I don't like the big giant fights that much, but that one actually was quite good. Is there anything on the battlefield for me to pick up? Stranger danger. Actually, wasn't there a... Oh, I didn't even use this thing, or can I? No, I didn't even use it. Yeah, it's just kind of... But so, well, actually, that one's not too bad, because it fires quite quickly, and it's big, like... It's, like, kind of stuns him, but... Usually it's kind of dangerous to use the... To, it's kind of dangerous to use the, um... Weapon to knock off it, because it just leaves you open. 
because right, you can dodge and stuff, but that would have been quite good if I'd actually tried to use it. I need to speak to Alva. By all means, Hunter. Open the gates. Alva, you pussy bitch. You could have helped, or someone could have. Alva, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine, but. What are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement. Kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little... tense. There was something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The seal wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are. The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. He looks like a to be honest. Below, shall we? Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Farrow. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Uh, I don't know about that. she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may... Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found. The ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. By swimming down here? This water's cold. Is that a lot? Oh shit, that is so cool. That is so cool. Wouldn't the water be like boiling hot though? If there was lava on things. I know it's a f about a hundred, well, maybe not a hundred, but it's a few meters down, but still. I love the pinging noise when you do it underwater, when you scan underwater. Don't want to go that way. 
Whoa! It just turned on the second I got there. What the fuck? It was, it was bullshit. It wasn't on before that, like. Where's the- oh, don't put me all the way back up here. Oh yeah, fucking prick of a game. Okay, so it stopped. Sorry, it was just continuously stop. I mean, like it wasn't moving at all when I was here last time. I'm just gonna wait for it to go again and then stop. God, that was annoying. Why is it showing me that random relic rune over there? Silence gonna come back into the game. He's cool. Here I am again. Hiding in the gym. Writing to stay sane in this crazy place. I can't believe Gregory's dead. Our so-called spiritual leader was fine yesterday. And then suddenly passed away in his sleep. And no one will talk to me about it. So had other people in here with him, including a teenage girl. It's kind of weird that we're going to Ted Pharaoh's like uh, facility, are. even though he hasn't really been mentioned or like talked about that much throughout the whole game, as far as I There's remember right now. Normal about a scientist. His in comparison to the last game, I mean. Well, let's face it. A harem living through the end times in a trillionaire's underground survival bunker. But now that Kagori's gone, I'm worried things will get even weirder. He helped keep Ted stable for a couple of years, sort of. Without him, who knows? And we don't even understand what happened to him. That's right. Nothing normal about Ted. God, machine muscle is something I use so much, it's using like all of my weaponry. I know everyone's reeling after Grigori's uh, untimely demise. He was a deeply spiritual man who wasn't afraid to rip back the curtain and gaze where few men dare. I've asked Dr. Sumtau to, you know, check on what happened to him. I'm sure he had some kind of condition or something. The main point is that while we certainly miss him, we will go on. This is the way to the main door. Everything's gonna be okay.
don't really want to miss uh, too much stuff here because this would be. I don't know. I'm interested in some of the this game, not all of it. Some of it is kind of. I don't know. Forget this place. It's pretty Just a bit overwhelming, but the bits that I do understand are interesting. Some kind of access control. Probably would have been better if we didn't let them in until we explored ourselves first, actually. The door is open. Destiny is upon us. I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Yo, what boy would the hell? You dress like Ted Pharaoh. That's what Ted Pharaoh dressed like? I am Pharaoh, renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete, as he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland, and, as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No uh -oh. one knows better than I who he was, who he is, me. The hey, no, I just keep your punch up if I were you. Ancestors, the man who saved the world, and you, you understand, Sobek. You are her, Pharaoh's harbinger, his assistant. Come, we will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raymond? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear a proper business attire? <laughs> Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. For what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Hello. Come on. Uh, I was alright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Ugh. Not perfect, like, but. I'm not. Not much is going to change between now and tomorrow morning, anyway, so.
Oh, I'm back. After not saying I was leaving. This should be funny. <coughs> oh, that is why Elizabeth wore. wore. Just in case. Excellent. Somewhere in here, Pharaoh left his secrets. Let's go find them. Your Magnificence, perhaps we should leave guards behind to cover our exit? Indeed. Let it be done. Most of Ted's women repulse me, okay? They're like contestants on a housewife sim preening for the hubby's attention. But Brianna, the hollow singer, She's different. Thank all this. She's always been nice to me. And I love her voice, which has been conspicuously silent since Grigori died. <laughs> she doesn't speculate. Aw. Why did you. Oh, I cut out because I picked up a second plant. Pharaoh's visage, a monument to greatness. True. My it's a monument to something, I'll give you that. The Emperor will heap rewards upon you for this. Oh. My great risks bring great bounties, Overseer. I think this way might lead down. I mean, I could just jump down, but there could be secrets this way. Discussion of your feet, Bohai. Oh, hey, Alva. Brianna told me that Gregory hacked into restricted files and found out something awful. That Ted murdered important people who worked on Zero Dawn. Did Ted punish Gregory? Kill him? Find anything interesting. Oh, shit. I, uh, I, so hey. This is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah, sort of. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Those certainly look threatening. Huh. Statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Oh, they're the corruptors, is it? Or. Is that what they're called? Statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here. This is just us then. What? She doesn't have any weapons. Oh shoot. Sure. Where'd she put that board up? <clears throat> I was wondering why these were in the game. And now I'm wishing that they weren't. Take this. And this. Oh shit. And this. And this. And this. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this, hold on, and this, and this. Oh shit. <clears throat> hold on. What the just went through? That 100 times went through. Him. Ah, 
Ouch. That was actually fun. I don't think I feel like they were used to be way harder. <coughs> Thanks. But maybe not. Where's Overseer Bohai? He has decided to return to the surface. A wise choice. We can't afford to lose any more diviners than necessary. So, no more delays. We must proceed. Okay. Brianna didn't wake up this morning. She's gone. Just like Grigori. And looking up at the giant, hideous statue of Ted in the Great Hall. Thank you. Oh. Hey, I think. Did you discover some data? A uh, fragment. A, a testament to Ted's power. Ah. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Yes, that looks like a way. This is the way. This is the way. Ah. Can I open my eyes? Hmm. There we go. I don't like how they give me so many medicinal flowers and stuff. Although actually I kinda do like when it. When I built this place, I'm just scared. When its special systems were designed, I knew what I wanted. Protection, of course. An unlimited power source, that was a given. But also... Control. Over every possible eventuality. After all, you never know what'll happen, especially when the human element is involved. What did you find? Trust me. You don't want to know. I guess I don't. Ever deeper we go. What is that? Or if we still alive like the Zenith? Attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. An impressive setup. What is it for? I'm sorry, CEO. I don't know. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living ancestor? Is the data lost to her? First, we will loot. Okay, I guess that's where we'll be going next. Can you? You mustn't judge me. 
I had no choice. If I said no, what would he do to us? What would he do to you? You're my little girl. I was trying to keep you alive. For what, Dad? Please. Seriously, why? So we can be trapped in this underground nightmare? You know what we have to do. Please. Did you find a recording, Aloy? Yeah. I'll share it with you later. What are you doing? Uh oh. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues, or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kanya. You saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning. For us, for the Quen. And for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Pharaoh. I knew you would see in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. That would be kind of a cool twist if he was still alive. What if uh, Elizabeth? Oh no, we sound like Elizabeth's corpse at the end of the last day. Never mind. She did. Unless she was just sleeping. Which is a very real possibility. Is that a small office? For a minor functionary, perhaps? Shut up. Uh, whatever your name is. Ted Farrow Jr. It's gonna be so many of these mushrooms. That's so scary. We are getting closer to the heart of this place. An automated geothermal energy plant right under the city of San Francisco. A marvel. Even I can run it. And let's face it, I was always more of a visionary than an engineer. Which is why I had the foresight to insist on the inclusion of a very unique feature. Just in case anyone ever tries to steal my cheese, so to speak. Break the door down. I'm going to look for another way in. Good idea. It's worked before. Very well. <clears throat> Get to it. That would be one. Is that a vent of some sort? Not a bad idea. Hurry! Break it open! I'm gonna look around before I let them in this time. You have so many medicinal berries in my stash, there are 365 of them, Jesus. One for every day of the year. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the most obvious lead up to a boss fight ever. Oh 
definitely might do more. This music is kind of whack, yo. I'm Ted Farrow now, I think. What do you have to say for yourself, Ted? Somtown's dead. Along with his kid. Found him on the floor of his office this morning holding hands. Must have poisoned themselves. I never would have put them to sleep. She was just a girl, for Christ's sake. I offered them life. And this is how they repaid me. By leaving me all alone. But I guess I've been alone since this whole thing began. Alone in bearing the burden for the past, for the future. Same old Ted. No matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future, less his children. Someday they'll come, and I'll be here to greet them. Sometimes said my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Oh, time. so it actually could be so low. And energy. Sometimes if they react, you can give me what I need to grow strong again. To get my shit back together. So I can greet the kids. <laughs> <clears throat> Be right back, I'm just gonna pull. For a second. Advice, my guidance, and then I won't be alone anymore. He's still alive, or maybe he's not. That would be kind of uh, dumb to me. Secrets, are they here? <clears throat> uh, not the ones you're looking for. What one are they looking for, though? Then they must be in there. You don't say. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. <sighs> At last, Pharaoh's legacy is mine. Wait. Oh dear. Is that it's him? Oh shit, he's actually in there. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down if- Are you for, why would you say to him? Say to her, you idiot. Kill them too. No witnesses. Into battle. Oh god. Thank for her. Okay, I did not see that. Okay, I need to get some distance. First, we're gonna tear off their helmets. Oh, fuck yeah. You have bollocks. Oh, 
I thought he had a thing to somehow. Is that lava this point now? Oh god, that is terrifying. Who? Oh, this guy has a machine gun. This is not going that well. Oh god. Pharaoh rigged the reactor to overflow if he dies. We have to run. I want to see what he looked like. Don't mind if I do. Oh god, no, don't need that. Let's go. What is wrong with this guy? Oh jeez, that's such a violent death. Where is there another one? Oh shoot, where's the exit to this one? I don't remember where the exit for this place is. Why would they like wait around the Oh shit! That was close. <laughs> Why the place is like literally filling with lava. This is kind of cool. I really want to see what he looked like though. Kind of imagining like the Rat King from the last part 2 or something like that, like a, just a ball of like mutated mutants. <laughs> Oh my god. 
shoot him. He's a bitch. That is rather unfortunate. But how the hell do we get out? Uh. Oh yeah. Oh god, why, why am I taking so much damage? I didn't land in the lava. Oh god. And stay in the fire. Stay in the fire. I would end up taking fire damage. What? I said, how did he know he was in the fire and he wasn't taking fire damage? It's so long. Oh, 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 oh. Now where am I? We shall. Oh god. What? These, are, these guys aren't going to be too happy to hear what happened to what CEO. Happened? We, uh, we found something that will help. Not just your homeland, but everywhere. But where's the CEO? Oh, he's... Sus. Gone. I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes. Well put, actually. You must think I'm eminently stupid. Oh, maybe not. No, no. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of death? Oh. <laughs> it's time for the truth, and it better be. Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought thieves down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But we really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it and use it. Now, if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit when things start to improve. So 
Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems then that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva, I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Now that I have Omega clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by landfall. With the CO gone...
Once again, I'm back. Might be worth looking around the island too. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe the sea made me play dress up. The digest, how the priest called? That's a dumbass name. That's a dumbass name, boy. Do you not in my mind, man? That was actually pretty good. <laughs> Is this the one I just had on? No, this one. How do I equip it? Maybe I can't do that from here. You all right? <clears throat> With a main clearance and guys should be able to subdue. Oh, that makes it seem like this might be the last mission then. That is quite a while away. What I'm doing to be for it actually. 30 around the ball. Jeez, there's so many skill points. <laughs> Jeez, there's so many. Survivor, I feel like these ones would be quite useful. That is useful. That is useful. That is useful. Go for this one. <clears throat> Probably would have been worth looking at a few more of them as well before I, but whatever. I've explored a good bit of this island as well. I <laughs> didn't conquer much of the island because I hate it from everything, but. I guess we'll go back to base. Surely, oh, yeah, this is how I equip it. Yeah. Why? How come these are both purple? But this one is so much better than the Tanakh Marshall. Weird. Let's get my stash. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember why we had to go to Ted Far Ted Farrow's tomb. That keeps it alive though, it's kinda mad, but like he wasn't like 
properly alive, you know? That's so wicked. gather up as much of these as I can before I go. And I imagine that's pretty much it. Actually wait, there's hardly any sense in my stash. Like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Shut up. Oh, this means that there's some stuff that I can move. Okay, I'm gonna store. Fast hard pack won't need that. Just store all of the green ones. I wonder which of these is actually better. Don't really know actually. No. Uh, what's the one? Oh yeah, bring some. Wait, why can't I bring potions? I'm not in my potion patch. Can I craft an upgrade? Thoughtful of them. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. Sure, it was only a few months or like. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here. Where it'll be safe. Well, you didn't place anything. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. Uh, where's the workbench? The old ones used holograms for everything. It let them experience a great many things. Hologram. Pouch upgrades. Seriously, I can't get any? Oh, fine. Thank God, I'll be grand. Actually, wait, we have to talk to Aaron. What am I doing? There she is. I hear you found Thebes. How was it? Maniacs, lava. What's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. <laughs> well, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. You look tired. Ha! You never want to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Errant. 
Yeah, and you're the goal. You're literally carrying this whole thing. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons, I'll give you the heads up. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Long search that to a mysterious interest. Together with her friend Vart, she must come to the ruins for a back. We've got none at that one. Fair. Okay. Welcome back. Oh yeah. Okay. Data modules in. This should be cool. Beautiful. Whoa. Epic. And I don't even remember the oh this one was Las Vegas, wasn't it? Oh no wait, that was the first one I got. I don't remember where this one is. Cool. Alright. Hey, well, let's be in the background now. Oh, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega Clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Jeez, that's a uh, big difference. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy. You better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. What is wrong with her? I mean, I'm, I know she's had a pretty traumatic life, but like, I think she'd be a bit better now that that's kind of somewhat over. Aloy. Hey, dude. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. Where did you put that? What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. 
in a cell again. A slave. Forever. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Hey, what the pessimist? Beta. I mean, Leave me alone! You don't understand! Sarcastically. Punch her. Punch her in the fucking face. You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? Rust. Is that what she's going to talk about? Yeah. Beta. You don't have a defect. Beta. Look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Hey, it's like Gamora from okay. Infinity War. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission.
Where is Gemini? Uh, how do I? Yeah. Oh, is this where we? Is that where we? Like that Zenith was killed, and we already found Beta. Um, filter. Water. Wait, where are the other? How is the? Sure, there's more. Um, collagens and that. I guess they only show up when you're um, I don't know, it's like found on the map and stuff. I guess. <clears throat> Hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be checking up on you? Whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. <laughs> we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. And I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a <laughs> I knew they'd become I think. like best friends. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So, no more reading. Ah, it wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, uh, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built, uh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. And they still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads working to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Erend. I'm glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> I should go. That yeah, same here. I got a date with a cauldron to prepare for. Okay, so how close am I seven thirty one? Not too far off. Might do like one side quest or something to uh just to be sure. Or even just get um uh someone to get a better bow or something. I still only have like a level uh like a blue rarity hunter bow. That may not be good enough. That could be fine at the same time, but here's a cauldron. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna go get a drink and then we go do something. I've decided that uh, instead of instead of Instead of doing some flight missions now, I'm going to do this mission because I think there'll be one more after this one, like to take the flight to the Zenith. Um, so, and then I might do a mission or two to level myself up. But right now, I'm going to go straight into Actually, we'll talk to whoever this. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. Why does this guy have a side quest, I wonder? Aloy, are you well? I had a bit of an issue with that. I'm well, Charles, thank you. It's better now, though. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. Really? Why not? I once knew a warrior who discovered he had a brother late in life. 
<laughs> it was deeply uncomfortable for him. Did he ever get over it? In time. But not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge. Ah. Well, at least I avoided that. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zenus probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. That sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying Actually, for. Actually, she already found them. I know you were there. Have you had a chance to speak with Vora? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Briefly. Oh, Nora is skilled as the two of you. I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. He's been like in the same base for like probably weeks at this stage, and he's only managed to talk to Varl briefly. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. I think she meant to say sympathize. I should go get ready. I await your orders. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. But not now. Who's in here? Ah, we'll talk to her later. Continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. 
I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. All right, let's go. <clears throat> okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Oh my god, her hair. Where's she going? in place. Booting up. Where did all the others go? Aloy, I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errand, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Lock it down. Terminating external connections. It's working. It's got nowhere to go. Wait, what's that? Am I supposed to be able to hear what he's saying? To compensate. Hold on. 
Now what would be your request? Oh god. Ouch! Ow, I'm trying to... I wish I just stole a time in the night. Oh god. No! Get rid of the small now first, maybe if you pull from the big one. I'm busy! I can't really look that way. You saw it again. Oh god! It's just so annoying how quickly the fight can be over when you... Before I'll stay here, protect Beta! Got it! Be careful! Always don't just try to kill us! Oh, great. Stay back! No! Uh, I just wanna see what this lad's like, weaknesses are. That's all. Oh god. What are you doing? They ain't even gotten. Or you're a boat. Oh. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, hello. Are you kidding me? I can't... Man, some of the fights in this game are just so... Like, there's no... Like, I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just fucking... You just randomly get hit. Like, because you can't know exactly where Protect their attacks are going to land. Like, it's so annoying. Be careful! Always something trying to kill us! Oh, 
fuck you then. I have my own problem with Zyra. Oh, what? Alright, this time... I have a new plan. I'm still gonna remove his weapon, but this time I'm gonna actually pick it up and use it on the, the Ravager just to get him out of the way and then I can focus on the big guy. Okay, I don't want to go down there. Are you kidding me? Why did the weapon not just... I can't even pick it up. Are you kidding me? I can't pick up the weapon. It's, that's not going to hurt me, is it? Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? That shit is ridiculous, like, oh my god. Floral, stay here. Protect Beta. Got it. Be careful! Do you need ammo? Fuck yeah. Stay back! Aloy? Help! What? I don't- Oh my fucking god. Where's the weapon gone? I have my own problems. I've run out of ammo. Pretty sure I just run out of ammo. Oh god, no. Yeah, I noticed that I'm wounded. That stupid ass. Yes! Oh my god, what a... I'm so glad I did that. Alright. Oh god. Aloy, get a hand over here. Come on, come get out. Right away from Beta. Yes. Uh Oh, what? <laughs> oh, this is really getting my nerves. Shut up, Brian, I'm busy. Beta. 
Yeah, it sounds like a transformer. Come on. Over here, you. Oh. Oh, that was a transport machine? You two okay? Still that was a behemoth, I didn't okay. realize. Hey, Actually, before I go, I'm gonna gather up some of the these things that were around. So, Lord knows I would probably need them. Oh hell yeah, acid bombs. Thank god it gives you so much, uh, like, medicine berries for everything you pick up in here. up to something, all right? What, what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know, but I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers will lead me to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding, too. Well, let's go then. Why did you drop me off beforehand? The, the last one I was on. That was mean. Looks 
like we have some new friends. What is this not doing? Oh god. Got here before me, we think. I, uh, oh my god, it's one of the two weak games in general, oh my god. Okay. And what about you? Again. Oh yeah. Hold on. Let's go. I'm done too good. 
think there is another machine in here though. Oh no. I guess not. Where the play record link? Uh, okay. Oh no, what are the machines right here? Oh great, the machine's on the way. Beta! Hephaestus has locked me out of the node. Any ideas? I'll see what I can do. Grimhorn. Oh god. Hey, buddy. Hold on. I'm either absolutely dead because of being in here, like I'm just a sitting duck, or this is like a cheese and I'm gonna be absolutely fine. Like, I can't hurt me while I'm here. Oh god, I want to go back in, I want to go back in. Oh god. What? What? Why did she touch on there and why did that not hit connect? Ouch. Are you kidding me? Okay. Let's see how weak they he is against these first of all. Pretty weak. See how weak he's against these. Oh, the same. Oh no, a bit more so, I think, actually.
Oh god. Okay. It's kinda where you only decided to use that now. That would be very effective against me. these things well. This is on the Northeast Production Chamber. It sounds like it fled to another chamber. Well, it better not get comfortable. cylinder for increased connectivity I, I think I think we can do it oh he cut out why did not find the strike oh god whoa okay Fire. That works too. Oh God. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, first shot. Yeah. They left me though. Oh god. Where's the shuttle I've gone? Where's he gone? Oh, there you are. I think. Oh, 
Uh... Oh god. I'm too good at this game, I'm too good. Oh god, I did not see that coming. Okay. Oh god. Okay. You have to go first, my friend. I am truly sorry. Oh, come on. Got it, I think. Are you kidding me? Oh, he has more of those than me, I didn't realize. Thing come up. Oh, hello there, Mr. Claw Shrider. Oh god, don't let me even bad aggressive. I love the small machine fights, they're so, a lot of fun. Just the big ones that I feel so like... Oh god. Oh, 
Hmm. After all that, I kind of found more of a cell to be on. These guys are a lot stronger than they look. And they do, they're not only just scary, but like, they're, they're kind of small. I think they'd be only a little bit stronger than Watcher or something. Like that just in case. Never know what I might trigger. I don't know where the bundle back went or where it died, but I think I lose it. Okay. This is running out of places to hide. Oh, it's just a slaughter spine. your body against again. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Oh, okay. Disables elemental attack. Oh, oh fuck. No! Oh, that was, that was such an easy shot as well. Come on, aim the boy, like. Oh, yeah, I know. 
So. Oh da. I don't have a potion for this. Send potion. Oh, that's a lot easier in time. Leave me alone. Oh god. No. Oh god, okay, well I can do that more time, thankfully. Oh god. Oh god. I should have seen that coming before. Right? Oh god.
Yeah, I have a feeling that wouldn't work. Oh! Oh god! Oh, he's still nearly dead. We got him. It's done. You did First try as well. <clears throat> you can use any strong weapon. Good. Stand by. I'm sending oh. Hephaestus back to you. Oh no. Oh boy. That sure was a doozy. Talking to an AI, AI, and I'm talking to a computer again. I got the computer again. How do I get over there? I'm heading back, and then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Varl. I think I should be able to get up from here, but... Oh, here. Right back at you, Aloy. Let's do some of that thing. Ooh. Hey, that was hey, tough. I'm in time. The core is stable. Hephaestus is 100% contained. Now we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. I don't know, like, there's, like, pretty much nothing happening on screen, but the music is just popping off.
Eric, get Beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. Don't kill Viral. Nice one, bro. Get behind me. Don't come by. Come on! Quit screwing around. Now we're having fun, right? Oh no. Sons of bitches. Oh. Finally. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. Oh my god. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! What? Oh, don't tell me Viral's actually dead. What? Beta. Viral. It's kind of hard to, like, why did I make her hair so crazy in every scene? Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've... shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? <laughs> Where is Varl? Where's all the other people as well? Seriously, the machines above are kids like me. Madness out of grief. That's what uh, you suffer. Not really bothered to be honest. How did you find us? Her, her base and, the... and what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an 
overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. <laughs> After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and lived with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. I hold focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand, to be enlightened. You truly are. Elizabeth's blood, with her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. We must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship, a complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted, heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them, create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While silence and 
my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape... Bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. <laughs> so you know all about me. What about you? What would you like to know? Well, I don't know. Start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian <laughs> sent me to boarding school. <sighs> Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You are an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Farzenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off-planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now, finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? 
help here, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Farzina's original vision. A better future for humanity. I love Zenith was like their last name, but obviously not if you said Beta's not, not in danger. Like, I don't know. So what are the Zeniths doing to her? Didn't seem like she's like Putting biologically to related to the others. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult time consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel <clears> her if need be. But her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the data channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. She felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Veda to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star <coughs> system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. Think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's ah, new construction meets the ancient foundation. A passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door, bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. 
Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here, in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. <coughs> the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship. A simple matter of recovery once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was. I see in you. And more. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days. Because regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step. An AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, but she was very welcoming, almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets, and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the sons of Prometheus. The ones working with Regala. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. 
What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. First Faro. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we <coughs> won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. That was a very long conversation. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra projection for long. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silen's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? With Elagala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? Is between me and my sister. <laughs> we'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? 
Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. Erend, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... At, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Okay, and that's where I'm going to leave it for this thing, for this day. And we should be finishing the story next time, I imagine, probably. Probably. Yeah, okay. Ciao then.